one of the fastest growing sports in some time is pickleball. Joining us to talk about the goings on in the pickleball club here in the village, we welcome events director um, from Laguna Woods Pickleball, Janine Castillo. Jeannie. Jeannie mm -hmm. Castillo and pickleball member Lou Krantz. Yes, that's me. Is no, that right? Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. This is so fun. As I mentioned in the intro, I have had my pickleball set in a box since Christmas. It's never been taken out. Oh, we never need to played. change that. <laughs> I need to change I know, that. I know. <laughs> so I'm super happy that you guys are here to tell me sure. all about it. I know nothing about the game. So for those of us who have never played it or our viewers, sure. let's start with the basics. What is pickleball? Pickleball. Uh, is a, a, the most similar sport I would say would be tennis or racquetball. Okay. In that it's played on a court. The court's about a third of the size of, of, of the tennis courts. Okay. Um, and it's played with a very lightweight paddle and something similar to a wiffle ball. In fact, that was the very first prototype ball when, they, when this sport started back in 1965. Um, it goes back that far. It I does. Um, and I think the reason that it is so popular today is it is physically accessible, right? You're not running all over a huge tennis court. It's much smaller. You usually play doubles, which means it's even, you're, 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 you're running you, it, space is even smaller. Um, it's easy to learn, and it encourages social interaction, which Lou and I were just talking about. Um, and it's a hit among people of all ages. The average pickleball player today is 35 years of age, and the sport is still maturing. And as you said, it is the fastest growing sport in America today for all those reasons I just cited. That is something. I, I, I love how it, it's so encompassing right? With, in, on so many levels. We have, as we're gonna talk about today, we have grandparents playing with their grandchildren and it is a level playing field. So. Has that ever occurred in any other type of sport that you can think of? Well, you know, maybe, I don't know, cards. Maybe tennis. <laughs> cards. cards. <laughs> So as you said, and I had no idea, again, it, 1965, it dates right. back, so it's been around for decades. So before that, what is the history? Does anybody know what the Well, we did some research. We have our, our resident historian, Nikki Thompson, who gave me a little bit of background because I've only been here for five years. So I asked her, I said, what brought pickleball to the village? Okay. And apparently we have Mary and Dale Rainier to thank for bringing pickleball to the village, village back in 2010. Uh, they were renting a place here. They had found this sport. They brought their, their portable net and set it up, and people started to play. And then in 2014, they convinced Recreation to uh, hybrid stripe the uh, paddle tennis courts that you see out in, uh, near gate, five, uh, gate 12 today. Um, and they also created with 40 people what is now the Laguna Woods Pickleball Club. And Joan Brown was elected the first president. and. The movement started, and today we have over 600 members. Is that right? That is correct. That's wonderful. And um, what are the hours that those courts are open? They, we have pickleball players starting at 6 o'clock in the morning and running till 10 o'clock at night. Do the courts have to be reserved? No. No, no it's, it's show and I, that's part of, and that's one of the things where that sense of community, you walk in, there is what we call Brad's boxes, and you sign up for a game. And as soon as there are four people in that box and the court goes, is open, you, out you go. So um, it's, it's a great way to mix and match people together. That's amazing. I, I love it. Do the grandkids come in and play? They do. They do. Um, and, you know, we, we see them usually on the weekends, right. usually on, on, on the weekends. But it, it's awfully fun to see families getting out there. And there's usually three generations, right? The grandparents, That's the parents, great. and the kids all out there playing together, having a great time. What a unified sport. It is. I love it, it. Truly. And, Lou, you've been playing for quite some time. You've won well, a bronze I'm, and a gold. I, I'm guessing about seven years. I used to know a lady out here, and I come out weekends, and she introduced me to pickleball. And I fell in love with it right away. Right away. And I, I started playing regularly about four years ago when I moved out here. And I just love it. I just love it, and I love the people. So what's the addiction aspect of this sport? I, I need well, to know so I can get started. I've always been very competitive. When okay. I was younger, I was, I had been younger. I used to play tennis, so I was on my tennis team in high school, and then I played senior softball, and I gave that up about 10 years ago, and I started to get, it was a little more difficult, 
I found pickleball, and, and I'm competitive, and I love the people here. Ooh. I'm looking at a picture there. When is your next competition? When is the next comp? I'll be out playing Wednesday morning, and I'll, whoever's there, I play with. I play with some better players, and some are not as good. And, but you know, the big thing, I, one of the big things I was telling Jeannie was, everybody knows me. And it's partly because I'm, I'm probably the oldest pickleball player, but I'm also a good pickleball player. And I, I just love the competition and the friendship. Lou, can I ask you how old you are? I'm sorry? Can I ask you how old you are? 93. Wow. And he beats me on a regular basis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it's really wow. flattering because I am very competitive to play with play people younger than me. This of is course, everyone's younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fabulous, Lou. It keeps you young. It keeps me young. It really does. Well, maybe I'll have to meet you out on that pickleball court and you can yeah. tell me everything you know. He can okay. teach you a few things. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, there is something special for Grandparents' Day. What, we we what are here as, as part of the Pickleball Club, but also promoting the Laguna Woods Foundation Good Neighbor Project. And there have been, we really appreciate the fact that Laguna Woods Foundation has taken this on um, in an attempt to um, stifle the loneliness that seniors in particular um, yes. seem to feel uh, more so than any other demographic. And so they came together and asked all the clubs to present ideas that would bring the community together. And so the Pickleball Club decided to bring pickleball to the masses. Mm -hmm. And we're only one of many wonderful, wonderful club ideas that are going on throughout the month of September. You have the publishing club that is doing their book buddies that are uh, bringing uh, uh, authors to read their books to vision impaired people, right? Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, residents. And you have uh, the Chinese American Club doing the mid, the mid autumn festival. Uh, so many different wonderful programs. Ours in particular uh, starts with uh, September 8th, which happens to be Gr National Grandparents Day. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to invite grandparents, kids, and, and grandchildren out to the, uh, uh, like I said, the pickleball courts out um, by gate 12. And we're going to have hot dogs and cookies. We're going to have challenges that are age uh, specific uh, or age appropriate, I should say, uh, for different uh, age levels. Come out, try your hand at pickleball, and um, ha just have a good time with us. That right? sounds wonderful. And hopefully meet other, other like-minded neighbors and hopefully get addicted too. Right. So. And then the pop-up. So then after that, so that's on the 8th. So then what we decided to do is, like I said, bring pickleball to the masses. And what we're doing is on September 15th, we're going to be out in the parking lot of the PAC, Clubhouse 3, uh, again, bringing our age appropriate challenges out uh, there for our residents. And then on the 22nd uh, of September, we will be at Clubhouse 5, again, out in the parking lot. Come and join us. And uh, th those two events are in the afternoon. Um, and come and join us and just have a good time. Hit the ball around um, and see if pickleball might be right for you and, and, and meet some really cool people. Sounds like you're going to get uh, a lot more people joining that club. We hope so. As fun as it sounds. We're fun. I'm sure we will. <laughs> you are fun. Well, Ginny and Lou, thank you for sharing all things pickleball with us. Thank you for letting us. We'll preview our Monday movie when we come back. You're watching this day.